Hey guys, um, so I am back with my eighth weekly haul. Um, I haven't had the time to film an essay because of projects, and today is the 14th, and it is 7.55, I just got home. So, um, I have received these guys, there's only three stuff, but I'm just gonna say this, I have a huge problem, um, I have not been not buying stuff. I have tried to control myself a little bit, but it has not worked. Um, I told myself not to buy this, but then when you scroll through Facebook, there's so I'm in so much groups and Instagram. I'm more active in Instagram now, so I see people selling stuff, and I'm like, I need it for my BTS collection. So keep on buying stuff. So yeah, um, I have a package here. It was really well packaged. So I have the, I got the 7, 16 centimeter. Yeah, it's a 16 centimeter V. Um, the box is damaged, but these inside, um, I do see some damage, but this is a la print, a la production, and I do see some marks everywhere, but I think I can clean those up, and yeah, it's so cute. I do see like how dirty it is, I'm gonna clean it up, but it's so cute. I have the small ones over there, but I only have the matinee line and J-Hope, so I'm trying to slowly collect all of them, but this is very impossible to collect since it is out of production and I found this really cheap on Facebook. Um, so yeah, this, maybe I should just show it off. Oh, isn't it cute? Um, the seller did give me some freebies, right yeah. So it says, thank you for buying from me, I hope you enjoy V as much as I did. Sadly, I'm moving and I won't be able to take him with me, but I'm sure he'll be happy with you. Please let me know once you got it. So I did let her know. Such a cute note. Um, so I got some Lomo cards, is it? Do I have a V one? There's nothing in the back. I have a, like, unit one. And a group one, I think. Yeah, the Puma version. And this is, this is my first time seeing this. This is actually a homemade floral card. You can, like, tell from, like, and how it's cut. It's pretty cool. It's my first time seeing a homemade floor card. I do see like DIYs, but yeah. So he's gonna stand on my paper towel. <laughs> um, the second thing arrived is an expensive one. The seller did package it really well. She sent it really fast. I follow her on Instagram and um, I'll link her down below. She's very cool. She has a really good collection too. So she does give some cubies. Um, oh, I bought BTS's youth cards from her. So yeah, um, she does do that. So <laughs> I bought Young Forever promo album from her. Um, you can tell it's a promo. It's, there's the sticker. And yeah, not for sale up here. Um, it is signed in the front. Um, yeah, I went crazy. I need to seriously. Oh my god! So yeah, um, everything else is inside. There's no photo card because it's a promo, but there's the signatures, which is so pretty. Oh my god. So yeah, she did give me some freebies. We have Shua and V. V. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I keep track of what I buy, and most of them are BTS. I rewrote this 
from where's the one I put? This was my first one that I like started to record because I have no clue what I got. And then it turned to less. Do you see that? To this. Oh, this is like different. But right now I am prioritizing groups now. I'm selling a lot of albums and photo cards. So yeah. Oh, and please follow my Instagram because I do take pictures of these guys when they arrive. Last thing, I have a package. Um, I thought it would be bigger, but it's not. Hmm. Surprisingly. I also bought this on um, Instagram. I haven't opened this because I just couldn't yesterday. Like, they arrived on Saturday. I came home at midnight on Saturday. And this thing was, like, just there. So I put it out of the way so I don't, like... Just don't get distracted because I had to do my project. But today's the day, guys. I can finally open it. I'm so excited. Ooh. Are these real? Oh, I don't think they're real. Hello, sorry for the delay on your order. Thank you so much for ordering from me. Thank, take care of Cookie. <laughs> I'm gonna link her down below, but Wingy, these are tiny, but it's so cute. And Cookie, <laughs> Cookie, and J-Hope, ah, J-Hope, my top two. Nice, nice, okay. And if you are thinking, yep. What I get for cookie? I can't. <laughs> Here's. Okay, I can't, I can't get this out. Oh my god. I'll just show you guys. Is it? There's. Okay, there's plastic wrap. How could you not fall in love with him? Guys, are you serious? That jawline! Oh, the perfect position of the hands. And this beautiful artwork. Oh, he's a piece of art. Oh no! damaged yeah there's some damage in here mm. I spent a lot of money on it so I'm gonna have to contact the seller do you see that right there so I'm gonna have to contact the seller mm. that's sad it's such a beautiful card but why damage why um, but yeah, um, that's about it. So pretty. It's so sad how there's damage on this side. I pay a lot for it too, but it's so pretty. Which side is my favorite? I can't. I'm legit. This side is a piece of art. This side just wants me to. I just want to buy all of it. I will never afford it and probably will never buy all of it. So, yeah. Hello, so this is a update about the situation I had with um, the previous purchase I had. Um, but um, I just want to say that the seller I bought from for the BTS postcard would not give me partial refund. Um, I have addressed the problem to her and she said that she would not give me a refund mm -hmm. even though it is damaged and um, the 
thing is I paid a lot for it and I got a damage item that if I sell it, it won't be worth as much as I bought it for. Um, I'm probably not going to sell it, but this just makes me really mad. Um, like, I'm paying for this and you, the way you packaged it wasn't really well. Like, not in the box or it could be easily damaged and especially it crossed the country. Yeah, it crossed the country from East Coast, West Coast, and you only use one layer of bubble wrap, so it was not perfectly damp, like packaged. I usually, if I sell my stuff, I usually use a bubble mailer or a um, a box if it is. I feel like it is more safe and. Um, will get less damage. If I use a bubble mailer, I would use like three layers of bubble wrap. So this just got me really mad. Um, so what's gonna happen is she said, I keep on telling her and she's like, sorry, I can't give you a refund. Um, so I have, I don't have anything else I could do. So, um, I don't want to ruin her reputation, so I won't be, um, having her name down below but from now on I probably won't purchase from her um she is active on Instagram I do see her on Facebook as well so if you guys are in the US um and you are worried that if you bought something that is very expensive from someone um then make sure to tell them to put extra protection in it. Um, there's no harm in putting extra protection. It won't cost as much either. It would probably cost like a dollar extra. Um, so yeah, that is my update on that. Um, my second update is I am selling a lot of my albums and photo cards, not BTS. BTS is my life. I would never ever sell BTS stuff I have, except if I have extras, um, but I do have some BP, I, some BTS if I have extras of, um, CM Blue, GOT7, History, Monsex, Newest, 17, Attention, and Vix, um, a lot of these are signed, so, yeah, and some of them are pretty rare, I am doing like a deal where if you buy the photo card with the album it'll be a few dollars cheaper or a lot cheaper um the shipping i could give you ups tracking um for an extra few dollars and all of them are going to be um shipping included if you want tracking it's going to cost a few dollars. Um, there will be freebies. Um, and it's mostly US for the albums. I will do um, international for photo cards only. But yeah, I'm selling all of these. Um, I have narrowed down my top groups. And I feel like right now I need to conserve a lot of money for BTS. But also for my school and for my life because right now I'm mostly spending money on BTS and other groups um and I feel like right now I have I need a little bit more control of my budget so if you are buying from me um follow me on Instagram I did post stuff on Instagram earlier than YouTube because it is harder and takes more time to um do stuff on YouTube instead of Instagram, Instagram I can just post it up and it'll be out and I usually do early like early stuff saying like oh this is what I got today and you'll see that in my YouTube haul but yeah if you are interested in anything um the link will be down below and I do have um feedback from some people but I do have eBay so some of the feedback feedbacks are on my ebay account um 
the prices are pretty reasonable there are some that's I feel like are worth more and I want to give you guys a reasonable price for like market price um, and shipping is included for everything so that like the higher the price be is because of the shipping um, I am including shipping in there but prices are negotiable I did sell an album for a cheaper price than I listed for um, which I'm fine with if you know if it could go into a better home then on my shelf where I won't look through it as much then it's worth it for someone else to have it and keep it safe and treasure it yeah so just be careful of the things you buy that are super expensive especially the BTS um, Bullified Dream Exhibit ex Premium Postcard um, those are really easily damaged and this one was damaged um, during the shipping process and I can't do anything about it and just accept the truth that I got a damaged product which is I'm okay with some damage from any company I'm okay with but this damage is just too severe it is it did ruin the value of the item itself so that's all I want to say um just be careful of what you buy from certain sellers um and I am selling most of my K-pop collection like half of it yeah a lot follow me on Instagram uh I did link in the sheets the document that um my facebook my email and um my instagram and also my instagram feedback so if you don't trust me um you can also check those out i did link my personal facebook so if you guys aren't sure you can always message me on facebook or on instagram is fine too so yeah Bye.